In an interview on Monday, the General Secretary of PNG Communication Workers Union, Emmanuel Cairo, raised several concerns of the 400 registered members. The union questioned the micromanagement of the company and the current recruitment process. The union claims the board chairman is bypassing the office of the chief executive officer. Uh, the staff of Telecom are uh, very agitated that uh, the current chairman of the board of directors is now bypassing the office of the managing director or the CEO and going directly to individual uh, officers of staff or uh, managers to give them directives. This morning, the chairman of the telecom board said this action is for him to better understand the company in order to fix the disciplinary and mismanagement issues within the company. To understand the telco business, um, I needed to sort of understand the business, and you can only understand by talking to the people at the grassroots level. I mean, my management style is such that you know um, we could act as a board, sitting in board meetings once a month for half a day, and have your coffee, and, and then go away to your offices, and you don't really understand the core of the business. Mr. Patel says in order to achieve the fundamental aim of delivering the service to the customer, there are so many functions of the company that has deteriorated that needs fixing, and his direct involvement is the way to fix these problems. Telecom PNG's divisional manager, Human Resource, dismissed claims about the influx of expatriates into the company. I have not seen any recruitment uh, within the business. Uh, that has been uh, s sort of shortcut or the process has not been followed. The union is calling on the Prime Minister Peter O'Neill and State Enterprise Minister Ben Micah to replace the board chairman in order to address these concerns. However, Mr. Patel says the board is focused on delivering in 2014. Michelle Amba, National MTV News. Uh, like calling on the Prime Minister to change the board chairman. Are you